ni que fuera tuyo el lago. Oh no. Shoot. How do you end up over here? What's up everybody? On today's video, I'm gonna teach you about a top secret fishing spot. This is the best bass fishing lake in all Florida. Lake Karen is, is known throughout the entire state of Florida. Lake Karen, let's go out there and see what we can catch. I'm really excited. I've heard this is one of the best lakes in the whole state. They say you're guaranteed to catch a bass here every single time. All right. Lake Karen, where the bass are staring. This is the lure we're gonna use today. It's just a nice little worm. Highly regarded as a secret, by the way. You can see there's a few houses on the other side and the best fishing spots are gonna be on that bay, on, right over there in front of those houses. That's really where the good fishing spots are. But we're gonna start over here. Um, and you'll see our first cast will eventually, it'll be a guaranteed bite right off the bat. This place is just, all you gotta do is put the lure in the water. Well, you can see an alligator right there. That's a turtle. You gotta be real careful here. There's a lot of turtles and gators in the water. Yeah, it must be great to live in one of these gated communities on the other side of this. Imagine that, just coming outside and having a lake full of bass behind your house. That's the great thing about Florida. That's why everybody's moving here from Connecticut and Massachusetts and whatnot. I'm going to get a little close to the water here to get a cast down that way, but I'm kind of skeptical about getting too close to the water here. What's up, everybody? On today's video, I'm going to teach you about a top secret fishing spot. This is the best bass fishing lake in all Florida. If you're needing better cover, you can get better cover in the wind, but man, it makes casting difficult. Oh, we got a bite. Yeah. Yeah. He's moving fast too. What the crap? Yeah, be careful. He's moving real fast. I don't know why he's coming right at us. What the crap? This is all oh, there. We got him. Yeah. Oh, snap. Good sized bass. I told you guys this lake was good. Yeah. Man, he came right at me too. Lake Karen. I, I told you guys Lake Karen was a spot. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Can I tell you guys this was a great ah! This is a really odd angle uh for for a fishing hook to get caught like this. This is kind of weird. We got our first Karen Lake bass. Let's put him safely back in the water. And we'll go for another one. Always remember when you're putting fish back in the water, you have to be really quick because there's a lot of alligators. Never play games with uh, near the water. Okay. All right, we got our first bass, and uh, like I told you guys, for some reason, right behind this house right here, if you're gonna fish this lake, right behind this house is a spot that I would recommend. Um, for some reason, I mean, the bass behind this house, for some reason, I don't know why. I mean, you just gotta get your, even on a windy, crappy day like today, you were catching bass, that's a good sign. You end up splashing around, scaring all the fish away, and. Gonna have to cut the line hopefully i don't have to but it looks like the way i caught that weed it was a little bit shorter i can see myself coming out here every single day to fish i mean you got shade a great fishing spot we know that you got shade it seems like an ideal place. This is the type of place you could just come fishing on a daily basis. Da, da, da. It's just quiet and peaceful. What's nice about Florida too is that there's a state statute that if you're fishing or hunting and somebody decides to deliberately um, harass you, it's actually a state statute in the state of Florida that if somebody's deliberately harassing you, while fishing or hunting it is uh, where did i put that worm i know i brought it out anybody see where i put the worm what the crap is that mm -hmm. but yeah that's a nice law that the state of florida has that if somebody's fishing or engaging in any type of uh fishing or hunting they have the right to peace and tranquility while they're doing it and if anybody is to violate that it's actually uh against the law so it's a nice law that protects people who are fishing from being bothered. Not that anybody in Florida would be um, low class or trashy enough to do something like that. But I mean, the rare, I guess in the rare occasion, 
and the rare occasion that you were to run into somebody that would just be that there is so much fish in Lake Karen that it doesn't matter if you're using a worm or a frog it's not even about the lure it's just the spot is so good that it doesn't even matter what you're using you could be using a frog are they using a frog it doesn't matter if you're using a frog I mean you could be using a frog you could be using a worm this Lake Karen is just a good fishing spot I've lived in Florida for over 25 years, so uh, you just know how to react and how to deal with alligators. I know a lot of times people move to Florida from other states, and they've never seen an alligator before, so they don't know how to they don't know how to behave around it because they've never seen one. Uh, bless their hearts, they're not from here. They don't know how to, act, you know. But if you're from Florida like me, you've lived 20 some years in Florida, you know how alligators act, how they behave, and you can just. I really don't think the frog is the right thing for this spot, but we'll give it one good shot and if it doesn't work we'll switch it back to a worm or some other lure i don't usually bring out this lure unless it's absolutely like an incredible fishing spot this is my forbidden this right here is for monster bass and monster bass only i don't bring this lure out for anything but i have just faith that this lake has monster bass that I am actually going to go and bring out the monster bass lure. This lure, most of the time, you're never going to get a bite. And if you get a bite, you're going to lose it because it's just a large lure. So this is an absolute risk that I'm taking here by putting out this big lure. And again, this is a lure that, to me, when I bring this lure out, um, it's not a normal fishing circumstance lure. This lure, the lure that I reserve for the absolute best places ever. I mean, I don't just bring this out. For me to bring this lure out, it has to be a special occasion. It really does. Let's see what's on this side over here. And on this side, there's a lot of water over here, but it seems like a really hard to get into spot. Karenita, ven a mí que estoy sufriendo porque la policía no me está Deteniendo Karenita Ven a mi que estoy sufriendo Ven a mi que soy hispano Mira mi Karenad Mira mi Karenad I got a fish on Oh we got one Yeah we got one Yeah Yeah yeah, it's number two today, guys. Oh, yeah, Lake Karen Bass, baby. Look at this, guys. This is our second Lake Karen Bass today. Karenita. Remember this way? The last thing that we want is to have to go near the water. I can't believe I caught a bass. That bass was trying to eat a, a worm that was bigger than itself. Karenita. Ven a mi que estoy pescando. What's crazy about that cast is I thought that wasn't even a real cast because I, I couldn't see. There it go. Wow. <laughs> so I jumped. Oh, snap, bro. I told you Lake Karen ain't with that crap. What I tell you about Lake Karen, dog? I can get it out of here. This, this isn't even bigger. Oh, snap. We're getting bigger, guys. Okay, this is a big bass. This is a big bass, dude. <laughs> Look at these Lake Karen. Like Karen Bass, baby. Karenita, me llama la policía porque estoy pescando. Ni que fuera tuyo el lago. Oh no. Shoot. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. And I only see one car. That's not good. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Let's go see what happened. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. What just happened? Dang it, what just happened? This car, oh freak. Dang it. Move, move, move. You okay? 
You good? Okay. How do you end up over here? You okay? Okay. You alive? You feel good? You don't feel hurt? No, I mean, my arm is Cough. Crap. Well, you're good. That's all that matters. Yeah. You can get another car, but you're alive. That's yeah. important. You didn't bleed or anything? What? No other pedestrians or anybody else? Uh, no, no. Just you're sure nobody, no pedestrians? Yeah. It's okay. Hey, what well, matters is that you're okay. You. you can buy a new car. Thank you. Yeah, bro. Have a good day, man. You're alive, that's what matters. In front of Esplanade, guys, this neighborhood is absolutely wild. I think I just found uh, the most uh, crazy, this is the most crazy suburban place ever. Damn, oh, I took it down. Ça passe. Hey, not for me. Nah, boule, papi. I thought the guy was dead, man. Oh, man, he's good, though, he's good. Thought he was dead. No, he's good. He's okay. He came out okay. You hear it? I was fishing over here. I heard boom. All right. Me and me saw. They turned the sprinklers on me. See, that's why these people races out here, bro. They turn the sprinklers on me. See that? That's racist. That's a racist sidewalk right there, bro. Your GoPro has to be running at all times out here. There's no, there's no turning the GoPro off while you're out here in these places. These are the real streets of Bradenton, son. My mommy Karen on. Edison Karen, Karen, Karen.